hello everyone thank you for coming up today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button friends we all know that the veteran actor olu jacob has been out of the movie for some years now and you know there have been lots of questions and rumors going around regarding his current situation some people alleged that he was actually poisoned some people said that he's under a kind of spell some people have charmed him in the industry and that people have tried to pull him down to take him away so he doesn't stand in again because he's been receiving lots and lots of awards and we all know that any movie directed by the veteran actor Olu Jacob it's always a very nice movie it's so real and you could see that he's been doing that very well and all of a sudden we don't see him anymore in the movies and that is why so many speculations have been coming up and last week we all saw that he stepped out for the first time after so many years with his wife, Joker Silva. And people were so shocked to see him. I'd say that people were excited to see him. But from the look of things, you could see that he doesn't look okay. You could know that something is wrong with him. His weight loss is so obvious and he looks sick. But today, the wife actress joker is now coming out to let the public know what is really going on due to the rumors that have been flying around even when they stepped out last week the actress observed that a lot of people had to start questioning her that what's wrong with her husband that, that he has changed after so many years and he doesn't look okay people kept on saying so many things but today she wanted to bring it out to the public and so that people can really know the truth about her husband she is publicly speaking for the first time and the actress revealed during an interview which she had with with Jidonwo that her husband Olu Jacobs has dementia with Lewy bodies isn't this a sad news for her to reveal it's so sad to hear that he is going through such she also said that it's been going on for a couple of years and that for the first time she's saying this publicly that he is dealing with these issues and that it has been going on for a couple of years and it is known as dementia with Lewy body. She's trying to explain to the public what is really happening to her husband. Friends, there's a video I'll be leaving behind right after this conversation so you can also watch and hear directly and she said this these were her exact words from this interview that just happened she said it is a degenerative disease that affects the brain and it is almost like a parkinson type of disease it affects the brain and affects the person first time i am saying this publicly that is what we have been dealing with but the thing is, it is hard on him because he doesn't understand what is going on. And it is hard on us, family members as well. We have gone through it over the past couple of years, but we thank God. We have gone through some times and situations recently that I wish I had the old you here so I don't battle these times on my own. But we are grateful for the moment of clarity. I miss the times we walk together. These were the exact words that came out from his wife, actress Joke Silva. Isn't this very touching? Imagine how actor Olu Jacob used to be. A lot of people know him. He's one of the top actors in Nigeria. In fact, even internationally because he's well known internationally he acts some of his movies outside the country he is just a great actor and a producer and that is why the wife is recounting 
all the times they had spent together when he was still healthy you know they act movies together in some movies it would be him and his wife that will act as a couple in the movie he has directed it was just so interesting to watch actress joke silva and her husband ulu jacobs imagine that kind of a position where the wife is right now you're having to take care of your husband who used to be very strong active full of life you know, illness is like this. It's really difficult for the family because the person sometimes will not even remember their own loved one. That is where it's really, really heartbreaking. When they will go to talk to the person and the person is like, who are you? And that is where memories of times you spent together with this person starts flashing all over again in your head. It's just so difficult for them and that's why she's coming out to us to debunk all those comments that people have made regarding her husband's health. She also spoke about discovering that at the age of 10 that she was adopted and that when she was nine months old, she also discovered on her own that she was adopted at that age. Imagine at that early age, knowing that the people you're with are not even your biological parents. And she said, then, her mother, whom she was living with, wasn't comfortable discussing issues like that with her. Definitely, it won't be easy because whoever is taking care of you as a baby, at that time, the person would assume your parent. Either the person adopted you, the person is automatically your parent. And when you now want to start talking about your biological parents, you'll be hurting the feelings of that person who has stepped in as your own family. They'll feel like you want to leave them when they've created a strong bond love with you and that was the reason why her mom wasn't happy for her talking about her biological parents and trying to see what really happened the actress who just turned um, 60 as we know that she celebrated 60 just few weeks ago also celebrated 40 years in the entertainment industry that's to tell you that she and her husband are one of the pioneers of nollywood Hi. Previously spoke about her adoption and how she actually found out. So these are the things that she's narrating during the interview. She had more to say. I'm trying to give her exact words so that you would know it's directly coming from her. She said this. It's something like where one is just getting to share it in the public. It is something that I found out when I was much younger. Mine was a secret adoption. It was not something that my parents discussed. My mom's elder sister wanted me to travel with her to Kenya and my mother was not around. She asked if I knew where my passport was and I was like, yes, yes, yes. I know where mom keeps all the important documents. Then I go to the important suitcase that has all the important documents where I found my passport, but also found my adoption certificate. It was like, I beg your pardon. I was 10 to 11 at that time. It was a bit shattering. It was tough. You know how you were very sensitive as a child. There was just something in it letting you know they would have discussed it with you if it was something they wanted to discuss. But I got to the point when I was able to discuss it, myself and my mom. What was interesting is that she found it easier to discuss it with my older son than she did with me. My mom wasn't comfortable discussing it. See, these are the exact words that actress Jokia Silva had revealed during her interview, which was a tough one for her. Revealing such a thing to the public, it's not easy. For her to take up her mind to do that, it only takes courage. It's heartful and heartbreaking knowing that the man she loved, her husband, whom she is always spending most of her time fun with, is no longer there to express all those laughter and all those energy anymore. It's not easy at all, especially when your family member is going through a very tough illness like this and you can't even help the person yet you see the person go through pains we thank god that he is still alive 
And even if not to say, at least we could see that he is still strong for someone who can still stand up shows that there's still strength in the person, which is something that we need to thank God for. A lot of people love the veteran actor and actress, Olu Jacobs and his wife. They are one of the most loved Nollywood couples in Nigeria and some parts internationally as well. They are so loving and so caring, even while offset. A lot of people that know them one-on-one -on -one have testified that these are very loving, nice people. Well, we pray for healings upon him and all of the family members that are struggling with their own family member going through things like this or even worse, that God should heal them all. You know, sometimes he said, you will never know the pain anyone is going through until something is affecting you directly. And especially when it's your loved one. Imagine you're watching this person go through pain, yet you can't help the person. It's such a pity. We know that actress Joke Silva and her family are going through a very difficult time. And may God give them the strength and the courage to stand by her husband through it all. Friends, there's a video I'll be leaving behind right after this conversation so you can also watch and hear directly right now at least she has cleared the air all those rumors now will no longer be flying anymore since we're hearing it from the horse's mouth friends there'll be a video i'll be leaving behind so that you can hear directly from actress jokia silva as she speaks publicly about her husband's health Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all. Today, we are going somewhere that I'm not... Um, mm, tough. Okay. It wasn't something that she was comfortable talking with me about. You know? So, I just went there, opened it, looked at it, said, hey, oops. And there's this adoption papers there mm. then there's a kind of fear on the side of the parent um uh, so she adopted me from i was about nine months old this is uh, dr silver's daughter and that person had immediately replied ah dr silver i didn't know did dr silver have any child i was uh, because of that i was secretly black blacklisted for quite a while you lost your sister mm -hmm. A few years ago, mm -hmm. uh, when, 2019, 20. um, when we discovered she had cancer, yeah. I mean, she she called me aside. At the same time, another person I love very much was ill, mm -hmm. and so I couldn't look after uh. her. It's hard on him because he doesn't understand what's going on. Well, he is dealing with issues, and it's been going on for a couple of years. It's known as um, dementia with Lewy body. Right. Phew, first time I've said that publicly.